Hello, welcome back to Tech Online again. Uh, part two of uh, checkboxes in uh, Google Sheets. Uh, here, I'm going to show you how you create a condition format um, on you, in your table in Google Sheets, such that uh, every time you check, uh, it should create a condition format that clearly tells the viewer or the recipient that this has been checked out either it is a done task and uh, not to focus on that then also i'm going to show you how you can compute by summing either the number of hours that have been checked out or done already uh, we shall also monitor the progress every time you check the progress should be uh, in increasing if it is a project running you should just wake up and tell uh, you think that you have gone 30% because of what has been checked here. So on top of that still, I'm going to show you how you can also limit uh, the parameters to be viewed on the chart. Which means if I want to view what I've already done, that are already in a done status or checked here. So every time I check or uncheck, uh, that parameter will appear or that task will appear or will disappear so managing that i'm going to show you how we manage that on using a query so let's dive in so as as we always do um i will create a sheet for now i'm going to take a format for i'll copy a format here we start off with that then uh, as always, I get my data using ChatGTP. So here, this is what we, we did. Uh, so I asked ChatGTP, give me 20 random project tasks, tabulate them, tabulate the results in three columns. I defined the columns that task uh, short code, the task name and the hours used. So this is what ChatGTP gave me. That is the three columns I requested and the total hours. So doing this, I completely get a random data that I'm going to use. So you can always go ahead and copy, then you paste the same in in your sheet. So I will do the same here. So we shall copy that and we paste here. So pasting values, I will use Command Shift V. Um, I already have this Command. O minus that is gone so still we go ahead and uh, insert checkboxes so I will insert a checkbox here as we did in part one please uh, if you're watching this then uh, you can check out part one how we we looked at the basics so you insert a checkbox which means when I check it means that this task has been done so how do we do that so we are going to create a condition format such that when I check, it should insert a color or even you can strike through what you have already done. So, uh, okay, uh, we are now on the next step. We are going to insert the condition formatting. So uh, how do we do that? You can start always with the first one by selecting uh, the first row uh, of your data. Right click and view more and insert a condition formatting or you can always use um, here on insert then sorry format you should be having condition formatting and this is the pen you'll get on the right so what do we do here we're going to use a custom formula yes and you'll always start with equals to this is if now we are testing if d2 so we're going with d2 uh, which means uh, we have to lock the column, which is going to stay constant, but we shall be alternating through the rows. So, which means if D2 is true, then I will make this uh, is true. Then we should have this formatting style. Then if it's false, um, it will the style will be dropped or it will not. Uh, appear with a style so I can go ahead and change this color to my favorite but I want it to green because those tasks will be done so even I can strike them through so go ahead and done so the moment I select this it will strike it through and 
paint the whole uh, the whole uh, road that are green. So remember this has been done for only A2 to D2 which means I can extend this up to the end by doing the same or you can select your, your range and it covers up to there. So OK and done which means if I do like this all this will be fine. So that is um, step number one. Step number two, we are going to get the total hours already worked. So how do we need the total hours? We want to check with whether you have checked D, then we want to sum up the hours used. So here is equal to, I would say, sum if. So what are we summing if? Our range, this is our range. So we can go ahead and run the range up to the bottom. So what is the criteria we are using? This should be a true. Um, uh, what are we summing? It's from here up to the end. So closing that, enter. It will give us 38 hours because the 38 is selected. So if I select more, 48, like that, 60 going forward. So you can go ahead and total hours you have um, done in your project. Okay, that is done. Let's go to progress. How do you manage the progress? Still nearly, ideally the same thing. You can have the progress of the hours or the progress of the number of tasks you have done. So here we are going to count. So we shall need uh, the count if. Uh, what are we counting if this is the range? So, and we are considering this if it is true and that's it now here which means we have done five tasks but we need now to get the total number of tasks then we divide by that so i will divide by count a so count everything um this i'm going to count i'm going to count all the tasks so i'll i'll count the tasks up to the bottom so anything even if we add more tasks then we shall have them computed so i'll close that close that and enter so this is 0 0.25 but uh, we have to put this in percentage and remove the zero so here we go uh, i think at least there is progress now so which means if i click here that is 80 percent so 80 hours and 30 percent you go ahead and select as you'll be managing the progress from there so you can go ahead and even add here a bar a bar chart but uh, that will be for the next time try check our videos um, uh, in the link above the corner so the next part we are going to is uh we want to sort out we want to sort out uh, what has been done. Then we can use that same uh, list to, to create our graph. So how do we do that? We are going to use a query function. So uh, query, uh, what's the data? So our data is here going downwards. Why am I leaving it open such that in case we add more tasks, then it can still pick the data. And what am I querying? So the syntax for querying is this. Now you start selecting the columns you need. So I need column A, B, and C because I don't need D. So which means you open uh, quotes, then you select uh, A, comma, B. Actually, it is case sensitive. A, comma, B, comma, C. Uh, we'll make it case sensitive a comma b comma c then when you put a space i'll say uh, where a uh, b that's d where our d equals to true so anything where uh, d is checked then we shall be having all that data row so I will close my quotes first of all. That is when you're querying. I already my headers, I have them here. I don't have to consider the headers. Then I go ahead and close this and enter. 
So the moment you do that, it will uh, create an array for all what you have checked. So if you, I see, if I uncheck this, uh, it will automatically disappear from the list. Now this is the find list I can go ahead and use. The next thing is to create a chart. So I will select all of that. Is that a chart? And here we go. Uh, I'll create a simple chart for now. So this is our chart. Uh, what do we check in the chart when we come to the setup? Uh, yes, on the x-axis we have the task code which is fine. Um, I don't need the labels. That's one. I will go to customize. Then I will need uh, go to chart. Uh, uh, on series I will need data labels then I don't need the axis you can go ahead and make it change the color because you may not delete it I don't need the grid lines you can go ahead and remove them major grid lines and here we go so you can proceed and create titles and all that but this is it so the moment I select um, the fourth you see now i'm not having a change on my graph because of one reason that this graph when i double click to the setup this graph is running up to k5 so which means it is only having four items so i will have to open this and enter so it goes up to the last um uh, row to this uh, sheet so the moment i select you see that that is the reduction so these are four these are three this is two so you can go ahead and check as much as you can if you're analyzing the tasks which one took many hours task two took many hours and all that guys uh this is it we make it up to the end uh thanks for watching up to the end and uh, please go ahead and subscribe uh please uh, click that uh, bell such that you can always have notifications to such videos every time we upload them and don't forget to subscribe like and comment otherwise i meet you in the next video bye bye